NBA 2K24 is here, and with that comes the new builder. Yes, there is a brand new builder in NBA 2K24, and if you're wondering how I know that, I got invited to play NBA 2K24 early at Community Day. So for eight hours, I got to test the best builds, the best animations, badges, play styles, everything in the game. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best center build that you can possibly make in NBA 2K24. But before we get into this, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, because we are getting so close to 50,000 subscribers. Now, by the way, if you guys want to see other builds like guard builds, lock builds, ISO builds, anything, make sure to check my channel. I'm uploading a bunch of builds and other videos that I definitely think can help you out going into 2K24. But as y'all can see, the builder looks completely different. You can create your own build from scratch. Or if you look on the right, there's also an NBA template section where you can make exact replicas of NBA players and get all of their animations for free and so many other other cool thing so now depending on when you're watching this i'll be uploading a video completely dedicated to that part of the builder where i'll be showing you guys everything that's in there as well as all the customizations you guys can do and the video is most likely already out so make sure to go check that video out after this one but jumping right into the custom builder the name handiness and jersey number obviously don't matter but moving on to the position and physicals you want to set the position to center and then go seven foot 244 pounds and a seven six wingspan now i know i know that that is a lot bigger than the builds we've been making in recent 2Ks. But strength this year is one of the most important things in the game, not only for defense, but offense as well. But don't worry, you'll still be moving on this build. Now, moving on to the attributes, starting off with the finishing category, you're going to have an 80 close shot. Now, I can tell you guys this just from playing the game. Close shot is one of the most important attributes for a big man build. Moving on to your driving layup, you're going to have a 61. It's nothing crazy, but it is something. Now, for your driving dunk and standing dunk, you're gonna have an 80 for the driving dunk and an 85 for the standing dunk now once we upgrade the vertical later in the video this will unlock the contact dunks the standing contact dunks big man contact dunks everything you need and as you guys can see on the right we get the posterizer badge bunny badge precision dunker just to name a few and finally we also have a 45 post control now moving on to the shooting category yes you will be able to shoot on this build now it's nothing crazy but you do get a 78 three-pointer a 70 mid-range and a 66 free throw which you can change depending on if you play rec or not but i can tell you guys this is plenty to be able to shoot consistently especially when you get badges like catch and shoot claymore corner specialist and a bunch of other badges that this build gets now moving on to the playmaking category once again this year i definitely think that pass accuracy is going to be very important so you don't want to cheap out on that so even when you're not a point guard i would definitely try and get a 75 at least that way you get some of the pass styles and stuff like that as well as a bunch of great badges like silver break starter silver dimer which is kind of crazy easy to get on a center like this and other badges like post playmaker relay passer special delivery and touch passer you're also going to get a 40 ball handle not like you can do much with that but it will help you from getting ripped every single play now moving on to the defensive category this is where this build really starts to get exciting to start it off you get an 80 interior defense as well as a 37 perimeter defense which isn't too high but like i said this is a center build you get a 60 steal which unlocks the interceptor badge that'll help you at a ton to get steals and one of the best parts about this build you get a 93 block now this unlocks the gold anchor badge silver chase down and gold pogo stick now trust me you're gonna want all of these badges on your build especially anchor because they're gonna help you protect the paint so much better now moving on to the rebounding attributes you get a 66 offensive rebound but also a 95 defensive rebound and with that you get hall of fame box out beast as well as gold rebound rebound chaser and i can tell you guys right now a high rebound is going to be very important in 2k24 now moving on to the physicals you're gonna get a 66 speed and a 52 acceleration now trust me i know it doesn't look crazy but it feels a lot faster than the attribute really looks and with a 66 speed this also allows you to get the silver chase down badge so you definitely want to have this now moving on to the strength like i said it is one of the most important things in the entire nba 2k24 game we're we're gonna have nearly max 
maxed out strength at a 92 and as you guys see on the right strength impacts so many badges that you need in this game box out beast brick wall bulldozer fearless finisher post lockdown and a movable enforcer now bulldozer literally allows you to bulldoze through the defense when the defense is bumping you it helps you push them off of you and get more space making it easier to get to the basket and a movable enforcer literally stops the opponent from doing that to you so having both of those badges on one build is probably one of the most op things in the game after that we have a 75 vertical which also impacts a ton of other badges however more importantly this will unlock all of the contact dunks that you can get on this build so make sure you have this up to a 75 at least that way you can start dunking on anybody in the paint and finally to finish off the build we have a 95 stamina that way we don't run out of stamina we can keep up on defense and then obviously bully our way on offense too now here's a quick look at the entire build as well as all of the badges we get on the right side of the screen and this year there are no badge points basically however you play your play style will decide what badges you get as you play more so the more you play the more badges you can unlock as well as upgrade them the better you play and there we have it an inside out threat honestly on both ends of the court defense and offense and if you guys wondering why there are no takeover selections that's because that's no longer in the game basically whenever you get takeover in game it'll pop up in the top right and let you choose out of all of the takeovers that are new and if you guys want to hear more about that click the video on the screen where i break down the entire builder and everything you need to know about 2k24